Hi everyone, it's Marissa from BumblebeeApothecary.com and today I want to talk about getting organ meats in when you don't necessarily enjoy the taste of them yet. I'm going to share some tips on how to start incorporating them into your diet without really tasting them. So I've talked before on my channel about how different organ meats from healthy grass-fed organic animals are some of the biggest powerhouses when it comes to nutrition. Liver is my absolute favorite. I have a few other videos where I talk about liver and those are related to actually my first tip which is to just swallow them raw. So I have another video that I'll link below where I talk about how I swallow raw beef liver and I go into a little more detail about why I do it that way, the benefits of having it raw. So check out that video for my first tip. Also stay tuned later in the video when I talk about a really fun way to incorporate organ meats into foods that I just recently discovered that kids love. The second tip is going to be what I'm gonna show you here and that is grinding up the organ meats and then mixing them into ground beef. So this is a great way to hide organ meats like liver into a meal that you're making and nobody will even know that they're eating liver. Now depending on how sensitive your family is to the taste, you'll want to start off with a smaller amount at first and kind of work up as people get more used to it and more enjoying it. So you might want to start really small if you're really not sure, but plan on increasing as time goes on. This can work if you're making meatloaf like I'm going to make today, meatballs, taco meat, really anywhere that you would be using ground beef or ground pork in any recipe. So let me just show you how easy it is to grind up some liver and add it to my meatloaf recipe that I'm gonna make. So I've been letting this liver thaw in a bowl of cold water. You can also just let it thaw in the refrigerator. And I have it to where it is kind of halfway frozen, halfway thawed. It can be all the way thawed too, that's fine. Liver does thaw quickly. And I'm just gonna add my pieces of liver to my food processor. There's some little pieces of liver. And then I'm just going to turn this on and let it run. I'm going to pulse it at first just so that it grinds up the liver nice and small. Okay, that looks really good. So you can see what that looks like, just really ground up small. So it's going to mix into the ground beef really well. You can do this with other organ meats too. You can do kidney and really whatever, spleen, whatever you want to mix into your, to your food without knowing that you're eating. Or having your family know, depending on who is the, the sensitive ones to organ flavors. So at this point, it's just going to be continuing with the recipe as usual. So you can add a ground up organ meat like that to any ground beef dish. Like yeah. if it's raw and you're mixing everything in, this is a great time to add it. Or if you're browning ground meat, just add it when you add the raw ground meat to your pan and you're good to go. So I'm gonna continue with my meatloaf recipe here and just show you how nicely it, it comes together to where you can't even tell there's organ meat in there. And there you go, that's how easy it is to grind up organ meats yourself at home and just add them to so many different recipes. There are also other ways to easily get organ meats ground so that you can add them even easier. You can ask a butcher if you're getting your meat 
from a butcher or a situation like that buying half or, or a whole animal, you can ask them to grind up the organ meats for you too. And then some places actually sell blends that have ground beef with some organ meats mixed in. US Wellness Meats, I'll have a link to them in the description box, offers a blend like that. It's ground beef with some ground organ meats mixed in. So that, those are great options as well. Makes it easier and faster. But as you can see, it's totally doable to do it yourself too. My last tip is one that I'm really excited about. I recently found out about this company, Pluck. It is a seasoning blend. So it is all-purpose organ-based seasoning. It has a bunch of different seasonings in it. And then it has a dried, freeze-dried, high-quality beef organ blend. So it has onion, pink Himalayan salt, garlic, and then it has the beef organ meat blend, which is liver, kidney, spleen, heart, pancreas. And then it has some more herbs, smoked paprika, lemon peel, black pepper, mustard seed, parsley, green onion, and thyme. So a really high-quality, organic blend, and it's really delicious. It's like a really nice seasoning salt type of a flavor, but I feel like even better than that. It's, it's kind of hard to, to describe, but when you taste it, you will love it. My kids adore this. They ask for it on a lot of different things. We enjoy it on all kinds of different savory things, meat, eggs, really whatever and it's delicious. You could also mix it into a recipe like this or add it when you're browning ground meat too. That would be another idea. We like to sprinkle it on top of soups too. Really been enjoying that. And it's great because you're getting really fantastic flavor and seasoning and some nice salt, but also organ meats at the same time. So I'll have a link below where you can check out Pluck and try some for yourself. It comes in a little bag like this and then I just put it in a jar, they send along stickers like this, so you can put a sticker on a jar, and then I found these shaker tops on Amazon. I'll link the shaker tops below too if you're interested. I hope that you really enjoyed those tips and I hope that you start using them. If you have any questions about anything, leave me a comment down below. Be sure also to check out that description box to links to a lot of the different things that I talked about, including US Wellness Meats and their organs and their ground organ blends, and then of course, the pluck organ-based seasoning. If you have any tips on ways that you've found to hide organ meats or enjoy them, leave me a comment and let me know. If you did like this video, give it a thumbs up, share it with anybody else who you think needs some ideas on how to get organ meats into their diet. If you're new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button. I get out two new videos every week on nourishing recipes and natural living. Thanks so much for watching. See you next time, bye.